Hey, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be showing you how to start a new composition and choose the right settings for your video. So let's head over to the project window. This is where we will be adding a new composition. We can do that by hitting this little button down here at the bottom of the window, which looks like a little film clip. And if you hover over these buttons and hold there, a little pop-up will say what each of these buttons is or you can go up to Composition, New Composition, or hit Command N on your keyboard, that's for Mac users, or Control N if you're using Windows. So do any of those and a window will pop open with the composition settings. So first you have composition name, so let's give this composition a name. So we will call this Title Card. And then beneath this are all of the settings. So you have basic and advanced tabs. We won't be doing anything in the advanced. And then there are different options for the size and the frame rate. So the size is going to be how wide is it, how tall. There's different presets you can choose. So you can choose one of these popular ones and one that might work for you. Or you can customize it by going in here and choosing a composition size that you want. So say you need a composition that is specifically 200 pixels wide by 100 pixels wide then you can create a composition that size. Pixel aspect ratio make sure that that's at on square pixels and then frame rate this is where you have to choose the frame rate of your video typically for online viewing 2997 is what you want 23976 is more of a film look and this is used if you are exporting a film or a video at that frame rate. So that's one thing to note is if you are creating a v motion graphics using After Effects for a video project, make sure that you know what frame rate the video was actually shot in because you want to match the frame rate of the video with the graphics that you create in After Effects. Does that make sense? So say I took out my camera out and shot some video at 23976 frame rate if I'm in After Effects, I want to make sure that I choose that frame rate so that it matches. I would stick with 2997 if you're just creating a project within After Effects. That's good to go. I'm going to go back up here to the width and height. I'm going to do 1920 by 1080. This is full HD quality and it will look super sharp when we export. Resolution, we just want to keep at full. Start time code zero and then duration this is where we set how long it is so you have these milliseconds you have seconds minutes and hours so you can create however long you want the duration to be so let's just create one that is 10 seconds background color just leave that as black and then hit OK so you will see that the title card composition has now popped up into your project window you can even rename this by right clicking hitting rename or by clicking and then pressing enter or return on your keyboard and typing in a new name and then you can also organize files in the project window with folders just add a little folder with this folder icon and name it and we'll call this compositions now I can add all of my compositions into this folder and of course in our composition window this is the new composition that we have created it doesn't have anything in it but we will be adding things soon one thing to note with your composition this little magnification ratio is very important you want to make sure that it is at fit up to 100 to start out with we can always zoom in and zoom out later but make sure that you hit that fit up to 100 percent so that you know this is everything that your composition has to show thanks for watching and in the next video we'll be covering how to import your own video photo and other types of assets into after effects